Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Trond Wi-Fi Smart Water Timer. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So here on the side, it says simple setup. You download the Smart Life app, plug in your hub, insert batteries, set up your timer as per instruction. There's warranty information here. It says app control, manual watering, rain delay, auto scheduling. On the back, we have the specs. The model is TDSH01W. Working temperature is 40 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit or 4.5 to 45 degrees Celsius. This waterproof rating is IP55. The working pressure is 2.9 to 116 PSI. Power supply is two AA batteries. The hose tap is three quarter inch external thread. Product dimensions is 4.47 by 4.41 by 1.95 inches. Wi-Fi frequency is 2.4 gigahertz. Input voltage is 110 to 220. So let's get this open. Here's the welcome guide. So this includes the timer, Wi-Fi hub, inlet adapter, red connector, seal tape, and welcome guide. Here's the timer. It has a hose faucet connection. So you connect this up to your hose bib outside, then you connect your hose up to it. It has a Wi-Fi hub. The water timer says the range is 50 feet without interference. So here's some specs here. I'll go over some that we didn't go over. Range is 50 foot without interference. It says for outdoor use with cold water only, not for use with appliances. Do not mix batteries. And on the back here, it said for indoor use only. I think that's incorrect because this is IP55 waterproof rating. Here's the Wi-Fi hub. It says total of connected devices is 32. I see what they're going after here. It says for indoor use only. So you want the Wi-Fi hub inside and then the timer itself can go outside, the thing you hook the hose to. So here we have the app. It has battery life, weather setting, running status, last irrigation time, next schedule, remote control, rain delay, timing, irrigation record. This talks about how to set it up, which I'll walk through. This talks about initial setup. Has additional water timer features so you can manually water the lawn. You can stop the watering at any time. It says you should remove this when there's freezing temperatures. And here's some troubleshooting. So let's take a look at this. So here's the device that turns the water on and off. So this will screw into the hose bib. The hose will screw into here. Here's the Wi-Fi hub, and this has a button on it. Here we have some sealing tape, and we have a quick connect fitting. So this is for like a quick connect here. Not sure what this is for. This might be some kind of an irrigation thing. So let's get some batteries in this. So it says two AA batteries. I'll pull this off. Okay, so that kind of slides out. It has a rubber seal on it. I have two alkaline batteries I'll put in here. Like so. And those will slide in here. That's nice. So I'm going to install the app. I'm going to do this on my iPad, but you could do this on a Apple or Android phone. So you go into your app store and you'll look for Smart Life. So I already have this downloaded, but if you don't, you can hit get, I'll hit open. So if I'm following the instructions on the box, I don't know how strict I need to do this, but it says download the app, plug in your hub. So I've got an outlet here I'll plug into. Then it says insert batteries. And now I'll set up the timer function. So I'll hit add device. It says Smart Life app is requesting the following access permissions. I'll hit continue. It says I want to add gateway control, so I'll tap that. And it's socket gateway BLE. It says power on the device and make sure the indicator is blinking rapidly. So I'll confirm that it is. We can see it blinking here. I'll hit next. It says allow Bluetooth permission. I'll hit go to set. I'll turn that on in my settings. I'll go back to the app and it looks like I need to start over again. Okay, it says devices to be added, one, Wi-Fi hub, smart water timer, I'll hit add. I will add all, I'll enter in my Wi-Fi password. It already had an SSID chosen, but if it didn't, you would choose one, I'll hit next. Okay, the Wi-Fi hub is added. Now the smart water timer has been added, I'll hit done. So let's look at the smart water timer. Okay, the smart water timer came up. So we have a forecast here. Let's hit the little edit icon in the upper right. We have smart water timer. We have device information. You can share device. We can update the device. I'll hit back. It says irrigation duration. I'll tap on that. We can change it. It currently says 10 minutes. The bottom I can hit play. Okay, so this just clicked. So if it was connected to water, water would be coming out now. I'll pause it. Next icon is weather delay. So if it rains, this is the delay before it irrigates next. So we have 24 hours, 48 hours, or 72 hours. Next we have timer. So we have normal schedule and cycle soak. Let's look at normal schedule. So here we can set the start time. We can set the duration and the weekdays to water. 
If we go to cycle soak, we can set the start time, the end time, and the days of the week. It says during the period cycle soak breaks watering down to multiple cycles to give the soil time to soak the water in for efficiency. So it says cycle duration here and pause duration. And the last one here, we have the irrigation history. So actually, I just turned it on for nine seconds, so it shows that here, okay? Okay, so I have this connected up to my faucet, and I have the app here. So I have this on full, and you can see it's not leaking, so that is good. I'll go into my app. This is probably going to spray all over. It's hard to get both on the screen at the same time. There we go. So when I hit that play, it turned on. When I hit it again, it turned off instantly. I'm going to turn that down so I don't blow a hole in the ground. I did want to show it'll work with full pressure. You can also press this button here to turn it on and off. So that's a quick way to manually turn it on and off. It also has the schedule modes. So let me do one of those. Okay, so I have this set to go on at 916. This should go on here shortly. And there we go. So this should run for one minute and then shut off. So I'll speed the video up here. And there it shut off. So that's the Tron Wi-Fi Smart Water Timer. I thought that was very easy to set up. So what I did is I put this in an outlet in my house that was near my Wi-Fi and near this on the outside of the house. So this was in Wi-Fi range on the inside. It was within the range of this on the outside. So I was real happy to see that this didn't leak when it was connected up to the faucet. Now, if your hose is going to leak, that's really dependent upon your hose. So if you use a good quality hose, that'll seal very well against this. If you have a poor quality hose, it might leak. Now, when you're talking about using a sprinkler, there's usually not a tremendous amount of pressure on there so it's probably less likely to leak than if you're using like a hose nozzle or some other thing where it's connected and has pressure on it because whatever you connect to here is typically open at the other end so it does come with some sealing tape if you need that but i didn't use any on this it worked fine without it so we are recently away for a few weeks on vacation and we had to have someone come over and water our garden and it was super hot out and i felt bad having to have someone come over in the really high heat to come water our garden so if we had this at the time we could have connected this up and ran sprinklers and had it all automated and the nice thing about this is you can set it up so it won't water if it rains. Now we're going through a drought right now so it hasn't rained very much but in that regard also they're wanting people to limit their water usage so using a device like this can help you limit that water usage. You can water at a more efficient time so you could water early in the morning so it's not evaporating right away and you can have it shut off if it actually does rain. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions about this please leave them in the comments. If you like this video please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate if you could do that and thanks for watching. Until next time goodbye.